Hi, I'm Lucy Mills, founder of Your Ideal Fit, a service providing premium in-home and online Pilates-based fitness training. I'm about to take you through a full body flex band workout. Now there are lots of flex bands on the market and they range in resistance and strength going from light to extra strong. So you choose whatever resistance works best for you. However, I would recommend that you go for something that's two meters in length. It's just gonna help you perform a maximum variety of exercises that we're about to go through in the workout. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoy. Okay, we're taking our flex band. My feet are a good wide hip distance, narrow shoulder distance apart. And I'm just gonna wrap this flex band around the back, roughly at the base of the shoulder blades, and then cross it over in front and hold between the thumb and the first finger. You want a good amount of resistance here and just glue that upper arm and elbow to the side of the body. And we're gonna begin with our breathing as we always do. So we're breathing in through the nose, out through pursed lips like you're blowing out a row of candles. And you're just gonna continue with this breath for me. So what we're doing with this band is creating resistance. So as you breathe in, you want to feel the rib cage expand out into the band itself, that full three dimensional expansion. And then as you exhale, just feel a rib cage release away from the elasticity of the band. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through pursed lips. And on that exhale, we're starting to wake up the deep core. So we're thinking corset hugging around the waist, pelvic floor gently starting to engage, keeping the full height of the spine, the full width of the shoulders. And we're aiming for a good four to five of these breaths. So let's have one more. Breathing in through the nose. All right, let's just begin with a gentle, full body warm up. So, holding now, but again, between the thumb and the first finger without crossing, we're gonna add the legs to the arms, a reach forward with a squat and a drive back in. So we exhale to sit back, inhale to return. As we sit back into that squat, we're thinking about driving up through the heels, maintaining the long neutral spine from tail to head. For six, breathing in. Exhale, breathing in, palms facing up. Four, and three, last two, and last one. We're gonna take out the legs, go to single arm. Exhale, inhale, reach. So with this single arm, we want to avoid any temptation to rotate as we reach that arm forward. Switch on that core. We go six sets, and five, palm facing up. Four, and three, two more sets. Exhale, inhale, last one. All right, let's repeat to the side. So we're gonna change the foot position as well as the arm position. Wide second, feet wider than the shoulders, lateral rotation. Now we plie and reach the arms to the side. So different to the squat, we're not hinging the body forward anymore. We're keeping the body upright and sliding down a wall palm, facing up, six. Arms are slightly in front, or they're going to the side for four and three. Exhale, inhale, last two, wrapping those glutes around the thighs at the top. Last one, single arm, no legs. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach and reach. Wide shoulders, long spine, palm facing up, arms slightly in front of you. We go for six and five, working into that shoulder, four, and three, two more sets, and final set coming up. Perfect, we're gonna return to that wide hip distance. We're gonna come into our offering. We inhale, reach two arms forward, exhale, open them to the side, inhale, return them to shoulder width, and bend them back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So palms facing up the entire time. Almost feel like you're trying to lift your little finger higher than your thumb, especially as they go out. Single arm adding rotation. Inhale, one arm reaches back. We look towards it as we rotate. We return and we bend it back in, other side. Reach, rotate, return. So not only are you thinking about opening that back arm away, you're thinking about reaching that front arm forward. Return, and inhale, exhale. One more each side. And final one. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're gonna add the legs. I'll turn sideways on so you can see a little bit better. Feet hip distance apart, we add a lunge. 
Let's do our normal offering. So step it back, open the arms, reach them forward, return. Other side, step it back, open, reach forward. Let's do one more each side. So we're taking a big enough step back that that front knee ends up lining up over the heel, maybe the midfoot, definitely not the toe. Okay, single arm ad rotation. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Returning the feet to hip distance. Don't be tempted to draw them back together. Open the arm and reach the other one forward. Let's have one more each side. Drive that back knee down to the floor. Last one. And open. Perfect, well done. All right, let's continue some arms. So we're gonna grab that band. And we're just gonna place the middle of the band underneath one foot and you're just going to stand onto it and send the other leg behind you the back heel is slightly lifted and we're going to hold the band like ski poles so you hold around the side between the thumb and the first finger both sides okay long spine wide shoulders hammer curl exhale inhale so I'm almost gluing my upper arm and my elbow to the side of my body six breathe out breathe in for four and three, two, and last one. Okay, let's do an overhead shoulder press. So we need the full length of this one, of the band. So hold toward the end, again, between the thumb and the first finger. And as we exhale, press up and over and draw the elbows in. Exhale, inhale. So we are pressing the arms up overhead, but they are slightly in front of you. If they go directly above, what tends to happen is we begin to lean back. Let's go four, and three, and two. Last one. Okay, we're gonna come into a low row. I'm gonna turn sideways on so you can see the position of the body a little bit better. We're going to sink a little deeper into that lunge. So my front leg is bent, my back leg is straight. My body is hinging forward to create a straight line from my head to my back foot. Holding quite low, palms facing in towards each other. Exhale, low row, inhale, return. So I'm driving the elbows back, keeping them narrow and close to the waist. Exhale, inhale, my eye line is down, almost like I'm trying to hold an apple between the chin and my chest. For four, exhale, inhale, two. Next one, only draw the elbows up next to the waist, tricep extension, exhale. Inhale, wide shoulders. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now if the resistance here is too much, just take your hands further away from the foot. Six, and five, palms facing in towards each other. And three, and two, last one. Perfect, all right, let's switch to the other side. So we take that foot off and we place the other foot into the middle of the band Let's begin with our hammer curls. So again, imagine you're holding ski poles, just so we take as much uh, tension out of the wrist as possible. Wide shoulders, hug those elbows in. Exhale, inhale. For eight, seven. Breathe out, breathe in. Five, and four, and three, last two. And last one, okay, overhead shoulder press. So getting a little bit more length through that band, hugging those elbows in, almost create a W shape. We exhale, inhale, reach up and over. Four, eight, shoulders down, no leaning back. Switch on that core. Six, and five, and four, and three, last two, last one well done okay turning sideways on let's go for that lunge and low row so holding a little bit closer to the foot back leg straight front leg bent long diagonal line breathe out breathe in drive those elbows back eight seven six exhale inhale for four and three Last two, 
Last one, hold, elbows hugging. Stretch it back, bend. Breathe out, breathe in, working into the back of the arm, into the tricep. Wide shoulders, long spine. And five. And four. Three. Last two. And last one. Perfect, well done. Okay, final little upper body exercise. We're gonna come for some external rotation. So again, wide hip distance, narrow shoulder distance with the feet, elbows hugging in. Now, depending on the movement available at your shoulders, you may want to hold the band quite tight at the beginning, or you may want to keep it quite loose at the beginning. Once we set the shoulders and the arms, we externally rotate. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Just moving that forearm and that hand through space for six, and five, and four, focusing on the length of the body, three, hugging that upper arm in, two, and last one. All right, let's just come into a little stretch, a little bit of upper body extension. The hands are gonna be a good shoulder width, maybe slightly wider, and you're going to reach those arms up overhead. Now you're gonna pull the band down, pull the arms down to the side of the body, slightly taking the band behind you, not much, lift the chest and the eye line and return. Inhale to extend and open, so you should feel a nice stretch through the shoulders that we've been working through the entire series that we've done. Inhale, exhale, I'm gonna to turn to the side for you. As you lift that chest and eye line, feel the tail slightly tuck under to avoid the whole spine going into extension. Also, don't let those arms go too far behind you. They just wanna come behind enough that they don't touch the top of the head. Inhale. And exhale, working into the lats as you pull it down. Let's have one more here. Breathe in. All right, a little version of this. Pull one arm to the side until it draws you over into a side bend. And return, pull the other arm out to the side, draw you over into a side bend. Good, so once you've done the first pull, the initial pull, don't continue with the arms at that point. Let the body and the arms adjust so you're getting that equal distance, as it were, between the ear and the arm. Let's do one more each side. Over we go, and up, last one. Okay, let's add a final little bit of legs to this. We're gonna side lunge in parallel with that side bend. So as you step out, you side bend, launch back up and close. Step it out and side bend launch it back up and close. When I say launch it back up, it's almost like you've got a springboard underneath that foot and you use that supporting leg to drive you back up. Let's go six, over. Breathing out, breathe in. Four more, parallel, one leg bent, one leg straight, three, Last two. And as we side bend, we're creating a nice long diagonal line and all the way up. Okay, let's come down onto the mat. So we're gonna get rid of the band for the first exercise. Just pop it next to you. And we're just gonna have a few hip rolls. Always good to begin a mat series with a little bit of spinal articulation as you exhale. Imprint the lower spine, squeeze the glutes. Pick up the tail and peel your body up one vertebrae at a time to a long diagonal line into your bridge. Inhale, hold. Exhale, soften the breastbone down one vertebrae at a time. Release all the way down, releasing the squeeze of the glutes at the end, returning to neutral. Four more here. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Three more. Feet hip distance. Focusing on the length of the body at the top, running from the shoulder to the knee. Articulating tail to shoulder on the way up, shoulder to tail on the way down. Let's add one more here. Really working through that spinal articulation, one vertebrae at a time. Okay, let's come into some abdominal work. We're just gonna find the middle of the band and you're going to place your right foot into it around the ball of the foot and the toes and then we just cross that band over. So once it's there, adjusting the grip, 
between the thumb and the first finger. Leg comes to tabletop, wide shoulders, upper arm, elbow down on the floor. We imprint and we draw the other leg to tabletop. We're gonna go for a single leg stretch bicycle. Exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, inhale, switch. Seven and six. Only taking that leg as low as imprint can be maintained. Last four. Last three. Last two. And last one. Now we're gonna add some abdominal flexion. Nod the head, flex up, floating the upper arm and elbow off the floor. Breathe out. Exhale as you reach the leg forward. Inhale as you transition. Four, three, two, and one. Lying down, legs to tabletop, lengthen the legs to the ceiling. Upper arm returns to the floor, we go for scissors. Exhale, pulse, inhale, switch, exhale, pulse for seven. Switch, and six, and five. Focusing on the length of that bottom leg. Last four, only taking it as low as imprint can be maintained, three. And two. One more each side. Okay, legs together. We're gonna add abdominal flexion, floating the upper arm off the floor. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, seven. Five. And four. And three. Two. One more each side. Return the legs together, lying down. Place that left foot down on the floor. We're going to come for hip rolls, single leg. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, prepare for four. Feel like that top leg is reaching up to the ceiling. Two. Next one, you're gonna hold it up. Bend that leg to tabletop. Exhale, reach it away in line with the supporting leg, thigh and knee. Inhale, bend. For seven, inhale, six, inhale, five. Keeping that even lift under the pelvis. Three, two, next one, hold it straight. Inhale, lift it, exhale, lower it. Seven, six, only taking it as low as that standing thigh and knee for four, three, two, and last one. Lift that leg, lower the pelvis. Okay, we're gonna come into a teaser variation. So we're gonna lengthen the opposite leg along the mat down toward the floor. And we're just gonna change the grip, holding now more toward the end of the band. Okay, hugging those elbows in. We inhale, nod the head. Exhale, flex up to your teaser position. Inhale, hold, reaching the arms up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the leg three times. And last one. Now draw those elbows in, roll yourself down to your start position. Inhale, nod the head. Exhale, flex up. Slightly back of the sit bones to that J curve. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Two. And last one, draw back from those lower abdominals. Drive those elbows back down. Final set. Nod the head. Flex up. Exhale. Inhale. Two. One. And draw it down. Well done. Okay, we're going to uncross that band. Changing the grip. So it's between the thumb and the first finger. Elbow sat on the floor. Let's leg circle. Inhale to start. Exhale to finish it off. Inhale to start. Exhale to finish it off. Pelvis staying neutral. Working legs staying parallel. Arms staying as still as possible. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's reverse direction. We inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. So it's more of an oval shape really than a circle. The side to side is much smaller than down and up for four. Further forward, further down you send that leg, the more the glute's gonna work. Two more and last one. Perfect, bend that leg for me. We are now gonna place the other foot into the band. Just check that it is in the middle. Wide band around the ball of the foot. And then we start by crossing the band over. Adjusting the grip between the thumb and the first finger so the wrist comes out of any tension. Leg to tabletop. We imprint, drawing that second leg to tabletop. So let's go for our bicycle. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, seven, arms still, six, only taking that leg as low as imprint can be maintained, four, three, wide shoulders, two, last one, adding abdominal flexion, floating the upper arm off the floor, breathe out, breathing out as you stretch the leg, breathing in as you transition, Five, and four, and three, two, last one coming up. Bend the legs, lengthen them up, scissors, keeping the head and shoulders down. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. A little pulse at the bottom. Focusing on that bottom leg, how long you can reach it. Keeping that imprint for four, Unless, of course, you're choosing to do all of this in neutral, which is perfectly fine. Last two sets. Getting ready to flex up, float the upper arm up off the floor. Six. And five. Looking forward with the space of an apple between the chin and the chest. Three. Two, one more each side. Lying down, join the legs together, place that free leg on the floor. Five hip rolls. Now the foot that is on the floor will be slightly closer in toward the seat for this one. Exhale, peel up. Reach that top foot up to the ceiling, inhale, hold. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, release the pelvis back to neutral. For four, roll it down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more. Last one, hold it up, bend and stretch that leg. Inhale, exhale. Reaching that leg to line up with the standing thigh and knee for four, three, two, keeping it straight, inhale, lift it. Exhale, lower it, maintaining neutral. Seven and six. Keep reaching through that standing leg and thigh for four and three. Last two and last one. Lift that leg, lower the pelvis. Okay, let's keep the band crossed, but adjust the grip to the end of the band. Let's come into our teaser prep stretching that free leg away, lowering the leg slightly onto a 45 degree angle. Inhale, nod the head, exhale, flex up to your teaser position. Inhale, hold, reaching the arms up. We are in our J curve with the spine. We're sitting slightly back off the sit bones. Exhale, lower the leg. Inhale, lift the leg three times. Draw the lower abdominals back and down, rolling down, driving those elbows in. Inhale, nod the head. Exhale, inhale, hold at the top. Exhale, inhale, two, and one. Roll it down, draw those lower abdominals slowly down. Last one. And roll it down. Okay, let's uncross that band. Again, adjusting the grip so we don't tense into the wrist. Leg circles, inhale, carry the leg across. Exhale, forward, down, out, around, and up for seven. Pelvis staying neutral, six, and five. Four, oval shape with the leg, three, 
and two. Last one. Let's reverse direction. Now, if you need to modify these circles, you can bend one leg, you can bend both legs. As long as you're maintaining neutral, the leg position is whatever feels best for you. Four. Inhale, exhale, three, two, and last one. Well done, keep that bend there for a second and just hug the knees into the chest. A few breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. A little rock forward and back, side to side, whatever the body feels it needs. Okay, on the next exhale, let's have a little roll up to a seated position. Okay, we're gonna come up to a full seated position. Now, if you're not able to sit upright on the sit bones, you can either do this with a slight bend in the knees, or you can just pop a cushion or a block underneath the seat just to lift you up slightly. Okay, we're gonna to return to the first leg and just open up through the ankle a little bit. We work that band around the ball of the foot, so you may start to feel a little tension into the calf. So let's stretch that out. Once more, around the ball of the foot. One leg bent in, other leg straight, hips as square as possible. Again, holding like ski poles. We draw the band back and flex that foot. You should feel a good stretch coming into the calf at this point. You should feel quite nice after everything we've done. And then just let the foot rock backwards and forwards. Now I'm moving my arms at this point because I'm more interested in the stretch I'm getting with the flex foot as opposed to working into the resistance of the band and working into that calf again. We've already done quite a bit of calf work. So just let the arms move with the band. You want to do a good eight to ten of these. And just settling the breath at this point. And then let's switch over. One leg bent in front, other leg nice and straight, square off the hips, good grip. Make sure we're not holding and tensing into that wrist. And we breathe out, breathe in. Finding the full length of the spine so we're not sitting doing this in a hunch position. Let's have a good four more here. Two more. And last one. Okay, as we are seated, let's place the band around two feet. Again, checking it's in the middle, around the balls of the foot, keeping it nice and wide. It's got less chance of pinging off then. Okay, let's go for a wide row. So earlier in our arm series, we did a low row. Let's come into a wide row. So sitting nice and tall, crossing the band over. Exhale, inhale. So your wide row, you're drawing your elbows out to the side up at the height of the shoulders. And you're thinking about hitting a position such that the forearm continues the line of the band. Let's go for a couple more here. We're gonna add flexion and extension. We extend as we row and we flex as we reach. Breathe in, then breathe out. Three more. Two, making sure here we don't crank into the back of the neck or lift the shoulders, long neck. And final one. Okay, we're gonna come into single arm row. So one arm can just rest on the thigh and we repeat, minus the flexion and extension. Just one arm at a time, melting that shoulder down for four and three and two, focusing on the space between the shoulder blades. Last one, other side. Now you may find if that band is underneath, you want to switch it over. Sometimes it just gets caught a little bit. So I'm gonna do that now. We exhale, inhale. And again, just try and find the same resistance. So I held a little further away there and instantly I felt that that resistance wasn't the same. So just adjust where the hand is. Exhale, inhale for four and three, two, and last one. All right, I'm going back to that first arm. I'm gonna add a tricep extension. You'll need to hold close to the end for this one. Exhale, we row and add rotation, then we reach and stretch the arm and return. You won't be able to extend the arm at the front here. So you row and twist, extend, inhale, return. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale for four, and three, 
long body. And two, one more wrist as long as possible. Well done, final crossover. Just so the arm that we're working has the band on top, holding toward the end. We twist and extend, inhale, return. Length and twist, inhale, return. For six and five. Now you may find if your band is shorter, you'll just be able to do the row and the twist, which will look like this. So you're just thinking about looking toward that elbow. Let's have another four. Breathe out, breathe in. And three and two. Last one. Perfect, well done. As we're upright, let's come into a kneeling position for our concert arms. So we're gonna place the band lengthways along the mat, but just get one end of the band ready for the knee to go on top of it. So my knee goes on the end, opposite knee goes on top as well. I'm a good shoulder width apart with the knees and the thighs. I'm gonna take the other end carry it all the way over. Now my arm isn't too close to my ear. I'm just gonna hook the other thumb in. So this hand is quite close to the shoulder. We exhale, press that arm away. Inhale, bend. Exhale, inhale, shoulders down. No leaning back, breathe out, breathe in. We go for four and three and two. Last one, you're gonna hold it. We're gonna side bend. The first direction is towards the top arm. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So this isn't an arm movement. The arms are traveling through space because we're moving through that side bend. No leaning back, arms slightly in front of you. And three, and two. Last one, you're gonna hold the side bend towards the lower arm and just look at the floor, hold it here in that side bend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Tricep bend and stretch with the top arm. Inhale, exhale, keep that upper arm still in space. Four, and three, and two, and one. Draw the body up, lower the arms down, and let's come to the other side. So you could just turn around here. I'll change the band so you're able to see me the whole time. Okay, we pop that band down. One knee on the end, other knee shoulder distance apart. Grab that band, bring it up the side of the body. Opposite arm holds. All right, hook that thumb in near the shoulder. Drop the shoulder down. Exhale, reach away, eight. Just checking in that my wrists are in a good alignment. Breathe out, breathe in for four. And three, and two, and one. Now we side bend toward the top arm. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, all from the waist. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Five, and four, no leaning back, arms slightly in front of you, shoulders down. Last two. Last one, you're gonna hold the side bend towards the bottom arm, look at the floor, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, bend, stretch that top arm. Inhale, exhale, seven, and six, keep the upper arm still. For four, and three, and two, and one, come all the way up, lowering the arms down. Okay, we're gonna come down onto the tummy for a little breaststroke. So removing the band for a second, and let's come down and lie on the front. Okay, once we are down on the stomach, we're gonna have ideally legs together. If you have any lower back issues, legs slightly apart. Then we're gonna grab the band and very similar to the original arm series that we did, we're going to just drape the band around the back of the shoulders, keeping it quite wide, checking that you have a good even amount of band either side. Now once it's there, you're going to hold the band quite close to the body and just lay the arms down at the side of you. We inhale, open the shoulders, lengthen and lift, and at the same time, hover the arms and reach them out to the side. As you exhale, bend the arms in, lower the arms, the chest, the head. Inhale, lengthen, lift, extend, hover, reach, and lie back down. And six. So our extension is in the upper body only that tail to make sure the lower back is supported, lengthening all the way through the tip of the, 
the head, focusing on nice long neck, no cranking into the back of the neck. Last two, next one, hold it up. Exhale, reach the arms further back, inhale, return. Exhale, reach, inhale, return. Long neck, wide shoulders, six and five, lifting the band slightly off the body, four, three, last two, and last one, return, bend the arms, lie yourself back down. Okay, let's get rid of that band and let's have a shell stretch. rolling all the way up to the crown of the head. Okay, let's come into a four point kneeling position. We're gonna grab that band again, finding the middle, and you're gonna place it around the heel of one foot. Drawing it through, one end through the middle of the legs, one end around the outside of the legs. Just make sure before you begin that it's a nice wide open piece of the band on that heel, checking that it's in the middle, a little bit fiddly in the beginning but better not to adjust once you get going in your exercise. Okay, you're holding the ends of the band under the hands. Check that the hands are under the shoulders, then widen the shoulders, really grip onto that mat to take out the tension from the wrist. Zipping up that corset, squashing that grape at the back of the shoulder. We float that knee and foot off. Exhale, kick it away. Inhale, bend it back in for seven. Zipping up that corset, keeping the pelvis as level as possible. Four, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, wide shoulders, two, and last one, bring it in, place that knee back down, opposite arm, exhale, lift and lower, exhale, lift and lower, just checking that that other hand is definitely under the shoulder, six, and five, only lifting that arm as high as the shoulder placement stays in its original position. Breathe out, breathe in. Okay, let's combine. Float the knee. We exhale, reach, inhale, return. Seven, torso staying still, pelvis staying neutral. For four, three, two, and last one. Well done. Okay, we're gonna to transition to the other side. Again, a little bit fiddly with that band. You just adjust it so it comes around the heel of the foot. All right, once you've got each end, check it's in the middle. Check it's nice and wide. Okay. Popping those hands down under the shoulders wide shoulders, long spine, float that foot off, exhale, kick it away, four, eight, inhale, bend, seven, six, working into that glute, four, four, and three, last two, last one, place that knee down. Now you may have noticed I've just kept the toes tucked under of that foot just to guarantee that the band doesn't slip off. Opposite arm, exhale, reach, inhale, lower. Trying to avoid at this point the tendency and the urge to sit the bottom back to pull against the band. Keep the seat, the hips over the knees. Six and five, four, three, wide shoulders, long neck, two, last one. Let's finish by combining. Exhale, inhale, arm and leg. Six. Keep squashing that grape, the back of the supporting arm. Three. Last two. Last one. Well done. Let's shell stretch. Rolling all the way up. Okay, let's come and lie on the side of the body. So, we are going to place the band around the top foot. Again, find the middle. Always easier to make sure it's in the right place at the start of the exercise. Around the middle of the foot. And then you're gonna hold both ends of the band with the top hand. 
We're going to lie down. Your bottom leg is going to be bent. Your top leg is going to be straight. Now, where you hold on that band is up to you. The closer to the foot you hold, the more resistance you're going to get. And you can change, play around as you get going according to the exercise to see what works best for you. Okay, bottom arm straight, rest the head down. Now with this top hand, I want you to hold over the top of the band and rest the knuckles down on the floor. Okay, reaching that top leg up to hip height as long as possible. Inhale to bend, exhale to kick. Inhale to bend, exhale to kick. Six. Five, maintaining neutral for four. Three, and two. Next one, hold it straight, reach it even longer. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Lower, exhale, lift, working into that resistance as you lift. Feel like I'm pulling that leg away from you. For four, three, last two, and last one. Eight circles, keep them small, eight and seven, about the size of a tennis ball, keep the, keeping the pelvis and the torso still. Just breathing in and out, wherever feels comfortable. For eight and seven, you should definitely start to feel that glute by now. I am, and three, and two, final eight pulses, and seven, and six, and five, and four, Ooh, three, and two, and one. Well done, leg down. Okay, let's get rid of the band for the next exercise. We're gonna do a side plank. Option one, keep the legs in the position you just had them in. So bottom leg bent, top leg straight. The forearm is going to be set on the floor, elbow under the shoulder. I'm just gonna adjust myself so my foot is on the mat as well. And I'd recommend you do that so you don't feel like you're going to slip at any point. So I gave you the option one, straight top leg, bent, top, uh, bent bottom leg, sorry. And we're going to then advance it, if you wish, by having two legs straight. Okay, we come into that side plank. If that bottom knee is down, that's fine. Reaching that arm up. We're gonna side bend and then twist. Exhale to side bend and return. Exhale to twist and return. We're feeling like we're dropping the head to the floor on the side bend and lifting the rib cage to the ceiling. Three more. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, two more. Make sure when that arm goes to the ceiling, you can see it in your peripheral vision and you're looking forward, not up. Last one. Well done, down you come. Okay, let's repeat that entire series on the other side. So we're gonna grab that band, pop it around the middle. Again, wide band, not quite in the middle. All right, let's grab with that top hand and laying down, bottom leg bent, adjusting that grip. You want to really try and feel that you're working into the same resistance on both sides of the body. So you may have to play around with that a couple of times. Holding around the top, knuckles resting down. Reach that top leg away. Hip height. Inhale to bend, exhale to kick. Inhale to bend, exhale to kick. Four, six. Breathe in, breathe out for four and three. Neutral pelvis, two, lower and lift. Inhale, reach it away. Exhale, lift, seven and six and five. Last four, three, last two. Don't lift that leg too high. Let's circle. So if we do lift that leg too high, what tends to happen is that lower waist just collapses down and we've lost neutral. So that's why hip height is what we're aiming for. Reverse, eight and seven, tennis ball size, breathing in and out. Four and three, let's finish. Eight pulses, pulse it, reach, lift. Seven, six and five and four and three and two and down you come. Well done. Up we come for our side plank. Whatever you did with the legs on the first side, we must do now. Even if you feel stronger on this side, it's important to keep the body balanced. So I had my legs straight for the side plank. If you had that bottom leg bent, that's what you go for now. Up you come, reach that arm. Don't look up at it and don't take it behind your body. Exhale, side bend, inhale, return. Exhale, thread the needle, twist, inhale, return. For four, 
Suri. Lifting the ribcage up to the ceiling. Last one. And twist. Well done, down you come. Okay, let's come into our final shoulder stabilization core series into our plank. Okay, wide shoulders, squashing that grape at the back of the armpit, tucking the toes under. Lift both knees an inch, step one leg back, second leg back, we are in our plank. Exhale, lift the right leg, inhale, lower it. Left leg, lower it. For four, and three, looking straight down, not forward. Okay, bend that first leg, think hamstring curl, pulse it up, eight, seven, Zipping up that corset, don't let the lower back sink. And three, and two, and one. Stretch the leg, opposite side. Six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Stretch the leg, knees down, shell stretch. Okay, well done, we made it. Let's have a little cool down. So, sitting with the legs crossed. Okay, we've done quite a lot of band work, so forearms and wrists may be quite tense. So just have a little shake out of the hands, settling the breath as we do so. And maybe a few wrist rolls, both directions. And then just press the fingers back a little bit, open up into the forearms, and just open up into that wrist. Interlink the fingers and pull away opening up any compression. All right, a few shoulder rolls around the back, around the front, and maybe a few head dips side to side. All right, we lengthen and we rotate. Look toward that back arm and switch as you inhale. Lengthen, rotate, look toward that back arm as you exhale. You inhale, rotate, one more each side. Spine stretch forward, floating the arms, just hovering them over the knees. Nod the chin to the chest. Exhale as you roll down, inhale as you roll up. Lower half of the spine and pelvis staying neutral. Last one. And into some side bends, up and over. Bottom shoulder, bottom elbow, soft and relaxed. Opposite hip press and down slightly. Inhale to restack, exhale to lower the arm. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one each side. Final one. Okay, let's come up to standing, ready for our roll down. Okay, standing feet hip distance, wide shoulders, long spine, big breath in, rolling it down. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest. Heavy arms, heavy head, start to bend the knees at the bottom. Shake out the arms, shake out the head. Big breath in. As you exhale, draw the tail between the legs, lift through the center. Finishing with the head, wider shoulders, longer spine you are done. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe below. You can also see the link to my Instagram and my website below. Feel free to contact me with any questions you might have or if you're simply interested to train with me personally. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon.